Welcome back. Um, this is part two of uh, this game's walkthrough. Uh, and yes, well, we we continue where we where we stop the recording. If I remember correctly, yeah, I was knocked out by someone wearing a black hood. Woke up inside a coffin. He was trying to bury me alive. Well, that's 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 a really rude thing to do. So, oh, oh, I have a lantern. Nice. Well, uh, not as good as a flashlight, but so we we heard a woman screaming, and we have to save her. So let's just do that. I take a look here. That still I can't read that. So uh, my lantern is it? Uh, it seems that it's uh, infinite. It has an infinite energy source, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, Really nice uh, rain effect on, on buildings. A um, couple of years ago it was advertised as DirectX 10 exclusive effects like in Stalker. And well, now that everyone has DirectX 11 cards, doesn't matter anymore. They're, they don't have to convince you to buy a new graphics card so they can do such things as enable nice effects on even on DirectX 9, which is in my opinion still a very good platform, but let's stop talking about that and focus on the game. Still still very eerie. But there wasn't any really scary things, perhaps except the tree throwing cuts in. And it seems we are back in the village. And the doors are still locked too. Yeah, I, I, I remember this. Behind... oh. Nice thunder effect. Behind these walls is the entrance uh, to the village through which in chapter one we came. Ha ha ha, yeah. Funny. Oh, yes, and this little door is now open, so we are free to go in this section to. Oh, yeah, we want to go back to the woman, that's right. That's what we wanted to do. Little girl in the in the hut, what's up? They have taken her. Too late, they must have taken her. I have to track them down. A real hunter I am. Buckets, come on. We, we, we talked about this. Let's let's close the door. I can't. Track them down. Do we have any no footprints or anything? Uh, it, it's it's a muddy day, isn't it? But still no footprints. I guess the game's not that hardcore. So we shall look in this this section because it's it's unknown to us. Lock doors. I don't know why I'm even trying. Oh yes, I know. I know this. You know too, my dear viewers. Let's let's look here. Sorry for the little lag, I just had to stop the recording for one second. Okay. Let's let's do this. Simply. 
Let's just do this. <laughs> I'm so... So... Clever. Do I want to know what's inside? Not much, really. It doesn't work. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Oh no, come on. You... You... Okay. Ah. Let's just leave everything organized. We don't want any chaos. We're just visitors. That effect. Nothing here, it seems. Nothing at all. Just a few buggy meshes. Hello? Was that me? Yes, that was me. <laughs> I don't know whether it's worth looking in these. Oh yes, it is. Here is the key to the general store. Don't forget to bring two bottles of wine and some batteries. I won't. I promise. Okay. I always wanted to visit the general store. Now I have an opportunity. Nothing here either. Okay, but but we've got a key to the general store. That's something. Oh my head! Uh, okay, I can't close it. What's here? Stone. I'm strong still. Okay, let's do this. You don't think this will work. This one do. So this is the general store. This is it. Okay. Can close the doors. Tried. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know what's it called. What is it called in, in English? Uh, I knew it once, but not. Oh, okay, nice. Another note: the scale broke, so take it to the blacksmith. He's out of town, but he left me the key to the store. Leave it here. Now we can enter finally the real store. I should get the batteries before I leave. The batteries? That didn't even occur to me. My lantern is just so... Why? I want to leave. I don't, I don't want to eat. The lantern's much better. I don't even need it. Okay, I'm I'm back at this, this uh, road crossing. And I, I just realized that I didn't check this this direction and uh, I pretty much checked every other direction so that's only what's left no I think there I was no no this this is a new house for example Let's just see them. Oh, bucket, come on, you can't learn, can't you? Oh, nice, nice shadow effect. Okay, perhaps that's the one. And yes, yes, we found the blacksmith's house. Great. Used to hold objects firmly. Well, I don't really have anything I want to hold firmly. Ha ha ha. I do, but now let's just okay. No, no, I don't want to do anything with that. That's just oh, another generator. It is broken. Screw.
screwdriver. Oh, nice. I always press escape. It is broken, so I guess it cannot even be fixed. That is really unfortunate for us because I I don't like broken things. Nobody does, to be honest. There is an awful lot of exploration in this game. Not that I'm, I'm complaining or anything, it's just that... Yeah, it's not easy to... to keep it <laughs> interesting, I guess. Okay, we get nice little spooky music here. Let's see what we can find. Trying to imitate gamepad movements. They're always very smooth. Oh, there's a guy. Hey, stop. Stop. Hey, you. Stop it. Hello. I don't want to hurt you, I just want to ask you why you... why you wanted to... bury me alive, you know? That's an unusual thing to do with strange people. Strangers? Strange people. Strange people too. So, I guess you owe me an explanation, young man. Looks like a dead end. only looks like one strange spiral symbol. Yes, and what exactly can I do with that? Nothing. <laughs> I had to try. Oh well. Yeah, I thought so. A path here. Hmm. There's our bridge. I almost got scared this time. Almost. Oh, and a broken ladder, of course. It's a rope ladder and it seems that someone has cut it. I need to find a way to get up there. Eh. Eh. Didn't work. That's that's all I can do, sorry. Or can I combine it? <gasps> no. Oh, so many loose ends and dead ends. Oh! Oh! Okay. That's... that's something. Um, I think that... I could, theoretically, climb up that ladder. I'm gonna stop the recording and... Resume it there. Okay, I'm here. Yes, it works. Thank God. Thank God. I made some progress finally. <sighs> Let's see what we can find here. 
creepy little hut. Is there a little passage here as well? No. Creepy little block, of course. Ah. I can see something shining at the bottom, but not getting my hands in there. I need something to help me pull it out. I don't think this will work. Why not? Why won't that hurt? Hurt? Oh, come on. Really? Mint, can you that? You do that? No. Okay, I'm back with a new dose of energy and motivation. Artificial one. And yes, I, I admit I, I had to look up a walkthrough. I would have never, never thought that this radio. Yeah, as I didn't click it and I can use parts from it. And I will get a magnet from it. Which I think you are going to know what I'm gonna use for. Yes, yes, the toilet. We should be able to make some progress with it. He needs a magnet. The plier wasn't enough. Oh, <laughs> okay, that sh sure sounded really gross. The key. The key I found in the toilet. Okay. That's fine. Oh, very nice. No, not nice at all. Thank you, of course. An old oven. Yeah, that that I can see. Let's see what else. Some ashes left. I'll take them. Strange person you are. Strange person. Ashes. Yeah. Can I perhaps? No. Dirty bed. Dirty pillow. Oh. A book. Well, that's. Oh. That's a big load of text right there. So, if you want to read it, you can stop it, but perhaps I'm going to read it. It all started 30 years ago when they came to our village. They were a group of foreigners that came from the caste claiming to be investors. After some time, strange events, events began to take place in the village. At first there were screams and howls at night followed by long but mild earthquakes. Then some people went missing. The police carried out an investigation but didn't find any evidence of criminal activity. They assumed that the missing people left the village on their own. Strange events continued to occur and soon a rumor spread that the village was cursed. The locals began to abandon the village, and even the mayor left his house and moved to the safety of the city. Only the foreigners didn't appear to be disturbed by these strange events, which seemed odd. So I decided to start watching them. Some nights I saw them cross the bridge, go to the clearing near the rock, and then vanish. One night, as I was watching them, I slipped and made some noise. They heard it, and one of them began searching. I tried to stay still and quiet, 
despite the pain from my twisted ankle. He was getting closer to me, and suddenly he turned his head and looked at me straight in my eyes. I prepared myself for a final stand, but he did nothing. He only kept staring at me. I could see his eyes under his cap, looking back at me, back at me full of sadness and despair. He then turned away and told the others that it was only a fox. Strange things happen. After that they vanished again into the clearing, I got back to my hidden house, relieved and confused by this encounter. I decided to stay hidden in my house for a few days. Five days had passed since the incident, when one night I heard a scream of a woman coming from the abandoned house of the mayor. Not long after I heard the knock on my door, I hesitated for a while, but finally I opened the door. It was a man and a woman. The man seemed to be badly hurt. hurt. I told them to come inside, and when the light fell upon the man's face, I recognized that he was the one I had encountered a few days ago. He explained to me that they were being chased by the others. He was one of them, but when the others asked for the unborn child to become the vessel for a dark deity called Tyophilus, they tried to escape. There was a fight, and when he got wounded, the ma but managed to escape with his wife and come here. He told me that he knew I was watching them for a long time, but he kept it secret from them. I tried to treat his wounds, but it was too late. He already had lost a lot of blood. Knowing he would soon die, he begged me to help find refuge for his wife and his unborn child, to make sure that the others would never find them, as this would have terrible consequences for the entire world. Soon after he passed away, I furtively buried his body outside the cemetery, so the others wouldn't know he was dead. Then I took his wife to a monastery far from here. I made sure she would be taken care of, and nobody could find her. Up to this day I have been secretly spying their activities. The leader lives in the abandoned house of the mayor, and they use a secret entrance near the cliff, cliffs to gain access to an underground cave which they call Arima. In there they perform the dark rituals. Their purpose is to prepare the ground for the invocation of Typhus. I also learned that there is one sacred item which can disrupt the invocation. After searching for a long time, I managed to find and secure it. I will use it to stop them when the time is right. Well, that's that's really. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, this way it would have been easier, but never mind. So the, this this guy, or or woman, I don't know, is really something, a hero perhaps. <sighs> let's let's finish his investigation. Let's find out the truth, guys. I think that next I'm going to go to the cemetery because I have a show and that would make sense. So perhaps that's that's the next project. Um, so I think that I'm going to stop the recording here. Let's call this call this episode two of my walkthrough. I hope those of you who by some miracle watch this, enjoyed it, leave comments, like and subscribe if you want to. Thank you.